Authority Day Texas to Mexico. For the first time ever, authorities voted to declare a gender alert for 11 municipalities of the central state of Mexico. Many are calling the measure historic, but insufficient. Our correspondent Glenn Gunn has more. The families and the more than 1,500 victims of femicide in the state of Mexico have demanded that the authorities apply a so-called gender alert for the whole state so as to prevent and sanction gender-based violence. After years of denial, the Mexico state governor, Eruvio Avila, finally petitioned the measure for 11 of the state's 125 municipalities. We think that it is precisely for what is to come in 2018. We know perfectly well that we women are 52 percent of the voting population. Yet families of victims express that the government's years of silence or denial of systematic gender-based violence has produced deep distrust of the state's change in perspective. As women, we are not numbers of votes. We know that we are confronting inaction by the state. We know that we continue to be at risk and we will continue to be attentive. In a closed-door meeting, authorities of the Interior Ministry voted to implement, for the first time in the country's history, the gender alert for 11 municipalities, the most densely populated in the state. The decision was taken that the alert be implemented, I insist, in those 11 municipalities that concentrate 55 percent of the incidents in the state of Mexico. While civil society groups recognize the measure as a first step, they continue to demand that the entire state receive the alert and that special attention be given to impunity. The topic that has been forgotten is the theme of impunity. Yes, there can be these other factors, poverty, what have you. But if we don't locate impunity as the main problem, then we will not understand why femicides have increased so much in Mexico. While victims' families and activists demand the gender alert for the entire state of Mexico, they also demand that the measure be applied in nine other states where cases of femicide and violence toward women are high. Clayton Cantelosur, Mexico City.